Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Profit Ada for one more learning video tutorial. And today uh, we are going to cover the basics of Python that will be stream formatting, conditional variable setting, and the list setting in Python. Okay, so especially if you go with any kind of a code. The basics are very much important. So suppose if you got the code in a generative AI such as ChatGPT or Gemini or Copilot or Meta or any of the stuff whichever generates the code, you got the code and you are running the code and you get the error. Okay. So now what happens if you try this stuff? It usually won't get you the results if you are not aware about the basics so learning basics is very much important if you got installation and running any python code if your basics are not right you are definitely gonna get a lot of errors and you will be wasting a lot of time so you need to practice and you to learn more and more okay so first of all we will go with the string formatting so suppose if I got a string, okay, say something, I got a value, say 4.5, okay, and uh, we will try uh, with the string formatting. So suppose if I print this stuff, what I get? Usually I will get uh, the string value, which will be 4.5, okay. And here, I what I want, so suppose I want to give this value as an integer, okay. So basic, uh, I just start with an older version of a string formatting, okay, which is I think you can still can utilize this thing, okay. So suppose if I uh, say this that I am calling a string, okay. So I need to, first of all, I, I need to mention what type of it is. Okay, so if I say that, you know, model SS means it is a string and I am calling a string uh, which is uh, like uh, you know it comes with the modulus and here if I'll give the string it will be available so if I print this stuff I definitely get what I'm looking for okay now what happens is suppose if I want only integer then what I have to do is I have to say as a D okay so if I say this stuff I definitely get what I'm looking for okay so modulus D and uh, I will call them in a modulus and within a parenthesis bracket I will say the string okay I will close the stuff call and what I get an integer which will be 4 okay so this is how you have to do so suppose if you want to go with uh, as a string okay so especially if you want to go with the string you need to do the same you need to call this uh, modulus okay especially uh, in a string and it will be l4 so if i if i get with these things what the value will be there we definitely have a float and the float what happens it won't start with a zero zero value means it will definitely gonna get a large value and if i want to get uh, in a smaller like you know only only at initial value as a point f or something okay then uh, how i have to call basically i can say as a modulus of string okay and i can call what i'm looking for so this is how you need to print this stuff so you just have to say model sf okay and uh, after this just give the value so in the column you have to give the same value okay model sf okay i think i didn't close this string because it's definitely okay so now if i run I'll get four values only like you know 
as a uh, integer but i think what i'm looking for uh, it's uh, with the value not the single one uh, but what i'm looking for say suppose if i give the model s and then uh, dot one f should give me at least the string i'm looking for okay which i say it's uh, the perfect okay and if i give to f it will give me the value which is uh, you know required in a string as of modulus okay which will be 4.50 okay so this is uh, the all of the string will go as of string formatting uh, utilizing this modulus okay now we will see one more string formatting which is straight away says a dot format so suppose if we got any string to print and if we are calling we will give uh, a curly bracket and after that what i have to give is dot format and in this if i'll give us a string it will definitely gonna give the values okay so this is also one of the best things i suppose if i don't want to like uh, you know whatever the values are there i don't want to misplace or i don't want to like uh, change anything format and contain same as it is so i think that will be uh, the format will be best as of in this dot format okay and one more uh, values are there so suppose if i am looking for as uh, two values so suppose especially like you know i have an integer value so i can start with uh, as a one at initial and then secondary what happens i can go with as of uh, a zero okay so what happens here whatever i format the value which per i get will be as a if i just uh, give it as a one and uh, zero so if i i give it as a string comma str and i will give a value suppose if i'll give as a str equals four so this is uh, the format will be there the arranging orders will contain in this way so as you can see the string comma str uh, as of started with the four i didn't put any comma here if i'll give the comma then it will be like you know four then 4.5 okay so as you can see str i have given in a second but the column it took it at uh, the required stuff only okay so zero will start with whatever we give and then after that one okay so see 4 4.1 so our string is first should appear 4.5 but as i uh, already directed that our zeroth value will be on here and after this uh, the first of all we'll get as 4 which will be like you know uh, whatever we str we are getting so this is how it will get then after string so this is how it will print so you can check it out okay so this is a dot format okay and one of the best practices of right now if you want to contain any of the values same at, uh, as it is you can utilize the f only if you say f before uh, any of uh, as a string uh, you know uh, as, as a block as a column whatever you give okay so if i start with a string and if i give as a uh, you know curly braces and in that curly braces if i print as a string as a string okay what happens it will replace uh, the string value okay so can check this way so this is how i'll get okay and I can replace any of the curly brackets and if I'll give the value will be like that okay so you can check this way okay 
but uh, uh, like you know uh, a bracket should be there a column okay so if i close this stuff what happens get me this okay so this is how you can check it out so this is the best practices of format so whichever you feel like to be included in your project or any of the program please do check now what we are going to do we will check the variable setting part first okay so suppose if we got two values as a string equals uh, 4.5 and as str equals 4 okay and so suppose we got any variable we'll call them variable only okay and the value which we are trying we can get away straight away so suppose if i'll give us a 4 if what i say if str equals 4 then what happens we'll get the value as a 4 else what happens it will be 4.5 okay so if i print this what the value should be there it should be a numerical value which will be 4 okay so that is how you can check and i think it is not printing so i must say that you know i can give the value which i am looking for my variable uh, in any format which i can want okay Okay, once again, if str equals 4, otherwise it's 4.5, okay, and I need to print the variable. Okay, so we definitely got the value. Okay, in case if I uh, want to change certain things, so suppose uh, you know if str equals something as a 4.5 and uh, i want to get some else value if it is not 4 4.5 else uh, else should be what 5 okay so if i give this the value will be what 5 okay so this is how the if conditional statement or variable setting i can give uh, for my program okay so next thing uh, so suppose if i want to get the uh, uh, you know a list setting so what i can give as a bracket and then we can start as a starting only we can give the x whichever we are looking for and we can give for x in range of 10 so what happens it will print it will give the list it will fill the list uh, with the range of 10 okay So if I'll leave this stuff. So this is I go and then I can give it to one more thing. So suppose if I'm looking for the value if x equals 10, then only the value should get filled with whatever or say 9. Then only the x value should get filled, otherwise not. So that is how I can give. So if 9 appears then what happens it get filled so that is how you can uh, in a loop in a conditions you just got any files and can set the list values okay so that's how i must say that you can try it out this is the sublime text editor okay i mostly utilize the python core editor so i may be missing certain things so that's why the reason like you know little bit uh, while typing i'm getting uh, kind of uh, like it is getting unadjusted okay so you can ignore that part and you can try this stuff still i think uh, you know this uh, sublime text looks better as for trading and to recognize things in a better way so i must say if you want to carry this installation as with the python you can check my video which is in my channel okay and rest of the things have been covered a lot of basic things uh, related to programmatic trading so i must say do utilize and one of the video which uh, i am going through 
for the blender for visualization purpose recently i've been given as a data visualization which you can check it out coding uh, this blender in a python you utilizing that text editor so you can utilize one of the best thing is there and you should also try to learn the blender to visualize perfectly okay so i must say if you have any doubt regarding this video please do comment below if you have any other queries or requirements please do contact me directly by whatsapp thank you